A former colonel who served decades ago in the Somali National Army was convicted Tuesday in a U.S. court of being responsible for the torture of a teenager in 1987. Yusuf Abdi Ali, who now lives in Alexandria, Virginia, served under dictator Syed Barre. A civil jury in the suburb of Washington, D.C., found him responsible for the torture of Farhan Mahmoud Tani Warfa and ordered him to pay Warfa half a million dollars. The verdict was reached after more than three decades, days of deliberations, rather, in a lawsuit that was filed 15 years ago by the San Francisco-based Center for Justice and Accountability on behalf of Warfa, who lives in a village in northwest Somalia. Warfa, who was 17 at the time, says he was tortured, shot and left for dead by Ali during a 1998 interrogation, but he survived only by bribing the men who were supposed to bury him. Ali has denied torturing Warfa. Now for more on this story, I'm joined by VOA Somali editor Mohamed Olad. Mohamed, welcome again to Africa 54. Thank you so much for welcoming me here. Now, first of all, the long arm of the law has caught up with Ali. What message does this send to warlords in Somalia and all those militant groups that torture people? Well, uh, this, this was a, a great message uh, for the Somali uh, uh, armed groups in, in, uh, who are still fighting in some areas in, in central Somalia, um, leaders who are uh, leading al-Shabaab militants, because many of them uh, during the warlord, uh, warlord war in Somalia, the civil war, many of them left the country, went to other countries, and they are still enjoying and live there. So this is a message that says not only in America, but also elsewhere in, Af in, 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 in Africa and Europe, you will not be able to live freely when you do something or, or bad to your people back home. Now, Ali has been uh, fined half a million US dollar, he, dollars. He was a Uber driver. And you spoke to him yesterday at the court. His reaction? Well, uh, uh, when he was walking out of the, of the court, he was very sad. And uh, normally, nowadays, he has been hiding from the media. Because recently, a CNN caught him in a ride, uh, driving an Uber, and since then he was hiding from the media. And during the uh, during the court uh, hearing and deliberations, he was hiding, and he was not talking to the media. But yesterday, when uh, we spoke to his lawyer, the lawyer says uh, Ali feels he was uh, uh, convicted wrongly, and uh, he believes he is innocent. He was denying any wrongdoings. And he says that uh, uh, why these people have been accusing him is only uh, based on clan vengeance. Fe um, and he didn't do anything wrong. And he was associated with farmer Siad Bar regime, mm -hmm. uh, whose military forces uh, 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 committed crimes in Somalia. So but, what, what but about the reaction of Warfa, who had to be flown in from Somalia? Yeah, he was smiling. He was uh, stepping out of the court uh, house. And he was uh, holding his hand up as a victorious guy. And he said to me that um, justice has been served for his, for his people, for his village, and for himself. And he's, he was saying that he was happy with the, with the verdict. And, and basically, um, he was happy with the $500,000 compensation he was awarded. Oh, Mohammed, thank you for covering this for us. Thanks so much.